We've got quite a few videos in this mobile creator series that we're doing with Samsung in the playlist right now. I'm really impressed. We've been, we started this like a couple of months ago and doing this series really like drills the fact home that having a device like the Note 10 Plus, which is the one that I've got, is literally like everything that you need to make a powerful narrative driven, exciting YouTube content or digital content across all platforms and it's right in your pocket. A lot of people make a ton of excuses that they want to start a YouTube channel but the only thing that they've got is the phone and I'm telling you that that's all you need and I'm kind of proving it to you with these videos that we're doing. A setup like this that I use quite regularly is quite expensive and, and, and prohibiting when it wants to when you want to make content so having a device with you at all times that allows you to edit, upload, design your thumbnails all in one is super powerful and in this video we're going to be designing thumbnails. The YouTube Creator Studio app allows you the ability to upload your own design thumbnails. So we're going to design them straight from the phone and upload them on the YouTube Creators app. On that note, I just want to say thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this video. You know, Samsung really care about content creators like you and myself and about the tools that we need to get our jobs done and just get creative. Why not make it the world's greatest paintbrush? So I just want to say thanks to them. I have included a playlist in the top right hand corner of this video uh, for you to go check out for yourself uh, a whole bunch of the videos that we've been doing. I'm really proud of the series that we've put together. So if you want to become a mobile content creator, this is how you do it. And it's only going to get better Better from here on in. Phones are just going to get better, cameras are going to get better, they're incredible now and the faster you learn to produce content on a mobile device the better. Okay so I'm just going to touch on a couple of the apps that we're going to be using. Uh, I'm going to list them over here on this side of the screen. We're going to do ViscoCam, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Spark and Over. These are all image editing apps and they can be used for many different use cases. If you are needing to design Instagram stories that look great or if you want to design Instagram posts that look nice or Twitter posts or a cover photo of your YouTube channel or your Twitter profile, it can all be done in a lot of these apps and some of them even have templates and profiles that help you do it. But in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how to design a great thumbnail, what it takes to design that, and using these apps specifically to show their thumbnail capabilities. I think going into thumbnails is actually quite an important part of the content creation process. When I met with YouTube in 2017, they said in order of hierarchy, the most important stuff that you have in your video is your title, your thumbnail, your description, and then lastly, your tags. So that's the, the hierarchy of information that YouTube use that gets views. If the thumbnail's bad, no one will watch your video. And there are certain things that you can do in your thumbnail that really catch attention. And the better you get at doing those things, the more attention that you catch, the more views your video is gonna be getting. The first app that I wanna talk about is actually Lightroom. Lightroom is Adobe's photo editing app. You, there is a desktop version for it, but the Lightroom that you get on your mobile device is absolutely free. And that's important because some of these apps have paid tiers, some of them don't have paid tiers, but having a free app gives you the power and the ability to make something on the go when you feel like it. And it's not just a like a distilled app, it's got all the professional image editing features that you get on, on desktop but on your phone. The only things that it's missing from the desktop one is like a cloud sync if you don't have an Adobe Creative Cloud account. But if you are just producing on your phone and you just need to do a thumbnail, this is the perfect app to do it. It's got all the basic fundamental things that you need to edit images. The power of Lightroom is the ability to change the lighting, bring out the darks and the shadows so that the image is more eye popping, being able to area select uh, an area, up the saturation of that area, all the clarity so that the so that things just pop a little bit more. Being able to do that with your photos means that it's going to be a way more eye catching video. And pro tip, please do not rely on your footage in order to get a thumbnail out of it. And a lot of YouTubers do this, even the biggest YouTubers in the world, and they fail. Like when you chat to Mr. Beast, he will tell you that the thumbnail is one of the most important parts of your video. And taking a thumbnail and designing a thumbnail on set or on location is one of the most important ways to up your views. In fact, I started doing that uh, relatively recently out of you know not being lazy and it's really up my view count a lot. A lot of my organic views are coming from people that are seeing the thumbnail and getting really excited about what potentially lies behind it. Remember I said that the title and the thumbnail are the top two most important bits uh, of information of your video. Sometimes it's not great to repeat the text of the title in the image. You want to make sure that it's the image is as clear 
uh, and demonstrates what's happening in the video or the idea behind the video as clearly as possible without text. Because also you then, you know, break language barriers. People that don't necessarily speak your language can watch your video and they'll understand what's going on in it. It's also a distillation of what is quite possibly a much better idea because you are distilling it into one image without any text. The idea is clearer and simpler and more potentially more entertaining. Lightroom is the place to craft that simple, clear image. I've done it for a couple of videos on my channel. Most notably the last one I think we did, the, the Samsung storytelling one where I took a couple of photos, treated them to like just made this, I made the, the Note 10 pop uh, uh, and give it like a hero pose. It's just a loud thumbnail that's very eye-catching, very cool to look at and really explains what's happening in the video very clearly. The second app that you should check out is ViscoCam. I highly recommend that if you have a Samsung Galaxy device to head over to the Galaxy Store because there are certain benefits of getting your app there. A lot of people don't know this. ViscoCam is generally uh, over 28 Rand a month or you can get an annual price at 339 Rand a month but if you get it from the Galaxy Store you get a bit of a discount. You can either opt in at 24 and 72 a month at this moment of this video being published, 296 Rand 75 annually. If you use these apps quite a lot, paying for some of these features is something that really might help your channel and you might want to consider. It's the same price as lunch in a way to have a really powerful app. ViscoCam has a couple of free features so you can check it out if you want to at first and it's a powerful app for a couple of reasons. We've been using it for a, quite a long time, a good, uh, I think five years now, more. It's quite a mature app and it's gone through a lot of phases. Essentially, the power of the app is in it's strong filters. Think about Instagram's filters, but you put them on a protein shake, make them run a marathon and lift like four times its own body weight. That's the kind of thing that you're getting with ViscoCam. ViscoCam has got a ton of different filters and visual effects that you can change. It's also got some basic uh, image editing features like the ability to change contrast and, and brightness and so on. But the power is in the color grade that you can give your images. This is important because branding is a big deal on YouTube. If if you can come up with a great brand out of a grade that people recognize immediately from seeing it and it's clear and it's bright, ViscoCam is going to be worth the download. It's easy to edit those images, they have a high quality and uh, you can use it on Instagram or any other platform that you'd like to as well. But that strong grade and color identity can set you apart. The third app I'm going to talk about is Adobe Spark. Now both Adobe Spark and Over, which I'll be talking about after this, I'm over, after, it's, it's confusing, all focus on text in images. Sometimes to make your idea as clear as possible, you do want text in your image. And there are a lot of apps that do it, but they actually do it really badly. I want to make sure that you guys get the best apps for it. Adobe Spark is free to download, but they do have paid tiers with a whole bunch of paid functionality. It's probably the most expensive app on this list, but if you've got it in Adobe Creative Cloud account, you get it absolutely free. If you don't have one, it's going to cost you over 134 Rand a month or 1,399 Rand a year. That's a lot of money for an app. So this might not be for everybody. I highly recommend those of you who are using uh, Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions, this might be an option for you. But here's the benefit. If you pay for the app, you get uh, something called branding. It's called brandifying like your, your channel. It takes a whole bunch of features that you'll be having in your, in your posts and styles, color, font, execution, and then duplicates that across a whole bunch of different kinds of posts. So Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnails, Twitter posts, and then it's easy to design that. And not a lot of people have studied graphic design or understand what good design is and something like Adobe Spark can help you get that. I highly recommend giving it a go, downloading it. Of course, it's it's their initial part of it is free and you can have a look at some of the powerful features that it's got and that is uh, an important lesson to yourself as to what is good design. But at the end of the day, you're able to add text to pictures. You can even animate text to pictures if you're using it on other posts, but uh, add your own copy. It has really nice uh, lockable areas so you can basically snap to different areas and it's got great thematic functionality so you can split an image in two and swap uh, swap them around so that the content in one block is different from the other or have text on one side of the image and or instead uh, have text on the right hand side of the image they've got this magic button that uh, basically justifies all your copy in the center and that's pretty nifty to have it's very convenient 
It's something that's worth getting into. And one of the most important parts is that it could probably teach you what great design is. And if you can build your own templates without having to pay, then that's pretty cool too. And lastly, I wanna talk about Over. Over is an app that is being made predominantly in South Africa, actually. It won uh, the MTN Consumer App of the Year Award this year. And it's it's got some really powerful features if you are creating anything with text on it and image, but particularly with thumbnails. So you can choose from a, a bunch of templates of different kinds of posts that you want. You select your template for the, spa, for the size. Remember, YouTube thumbnails are 720p, they're not 1080p, but it's still 16 by nine. It's a very simple and intuitive tool to use images with text. I highly recommend compositing your images in another program like Lightroom. I hope you've downloaded it now before the end of this video. Thank you, I hope at this stage you've got it. And uh, you can add these beautiful images and reframe them and add text to them. They've got a couple of other things that you can do with the paid version, like you can add shapes and their creative assets that other designers have used. It's like a repository of different design elements that uh, other graphic designers have created and illustrators have created and that you can add to, to your images and your thumbnails. I don't often use those elements. I often use the shape element, but sometimes you wanna be a little bit more original or those design elements aren't re really designed for thumbnails, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it could be very different for your channel or the kind of content that you're creating. Over is a little bit more affordable <laughs> than Adobe Spark at uh, about 37 Rand a month. Or if you really love the app and you wanna throw in everything you got into it, it's about 860 Rand a year. Again, that initial entry is free to you can add text and images for absolutely free you might not get all of the fonts if you don't pay for it but the the text and the images you can do for free so i, I recommend downloading it checking it out trying it out for yourself you can even do a free trial if you want and then add those fonts the benefit for me the reason i like it is that the font choice is really good fonts are very difficult to come by and also often are hard to to use a lot of people don't know what a good font is and what a bad font is if they haven't studied graphic design you want to make sure that your fonts are bold eye-catching and legible. A pro tip here is no matter what app you're using, if you want to see what your thumbnail is going to look like, zoom out so that you can have a good idea or hold it far away. If you can read it when the thumbnail is very small, it is a very good thumbnail. It's very eye-catching. Even better yet, if you can see what the concept of that thumbnail is from a very small difference, not only just seeing what it is, but just understanding what the content of that video is going to be distilled in that one image, you're winning. You're winning so hard. It's one of those things that just make or break a, a channel. And once you've designed your thumbnail, you can upload it straight to YouTube using the YouTube Creators app. Make sure that you've downloaded it. It is a very powerful app for YouTube content creators. It allows you to check your analytics in the back end of your videos. It allows you to upload uh, your photo. It even allows you to download thumbnails that YouTube have auto chosen so that you can edit them in any one of these apps. But again, please take a photograph of your thumbnail first. And it also allows you to edit your tags and your description just right from your phone. A lot of people don't know that that app exists. Like. Maybe the, maybe we should do a walkthrough of it at some point. That pretty much wraps it up. All the links to all those apps I'm gonna include down below. Make sure that you pick up apps like Visco Cam from the uh, Galaxy Store. You're gonna get those discounts. It's really worth your while. And I do recommend if you aren't satisfied with any of these apps and you wanna find your own ones, don't just run to the Google Play Store, go to the Galaxy Store. There's some real good specials there. You, if, you, if there's anything that is paid for, you'll get some good deals out of it. Some apps there might even be free that are paid for on the Play Store. All right, I told you this was a surprise at the end. So the challenge is this. I'm headed tomorrow, after filming this, to BlizzCon for the weekend. After that, uh, we're going out to New York just for a couple of days. And I've decided to do a Samsung challenge. Everything with the Samsung challenge is going to be done on my Galaxy Note 10. So we're going to film on the device, obviously. We're going to be taking photographs uh, for the thumbnails. We're going to be editing those thumbnails and we're going to be editing the video and uploading it all from a mobile device. So make sure that you've subscribed so that you can see it for yourself. I'm really excited about this challenge. I really love creating on my mobile device. There's a, there's a big difference between sitting behind a desk and just doing it and then having the free time at a coffee shop or walking around New York and being able to edit on your phone. Bonkers, b -b -b bonkers. So I'm very excited to do that. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in another video. Make sure that you check out the rest of these videos in the playlist. High five a stranger.